Hello, what's up? Ali here, and uh, today we are going to install a Mac boot on our unmodded uh, PS2 using a DVD boot. First, let me just have a uh, brief introduction on what Mac boot is. Uh, Mac boot is a type of uh, soft mod that enables us uh, to install some exploits on our PS2. Soft mod means we don't have uh, to install some mod chip to be able to do some extra stuff on our PS2. We just ha we'll just have. Uh, to use our memory card uh, to install some softwares uh, that uh, will enable us to do some extra stuff on our PS2 and uh, this will enable us to load and play games uh, using external hard drive or USB thumb drive or internal hard drive uh, using network adapter. Unfortunately, MacBook does not work on all, uh, on all models of PS2. If your PS2 has a model of 90K and up, Unfortunately, Mac Boot will not work for your PS2, but we have some other exploit like a Fortuna or Fantuna that uh, can uh, work on all models. Uh, but uh, on this video, we we'll just uh, focus on using Mac Boot. Another thing, uh, we have to have a Mac Boot uh, to be able to install Mac Boot. So uh, without any exploit, uh, we won't be able to do any or any extra stuff on our PS2. So uh, the easiest way to get a Mac boot is just buy or purchase a memory card that already has a Mac boot. But like we have mentioned earlier, Mac boot does not work on all models. So you have to make sure that your PS2 supports Mac boot before you purchase a new one. So let's just uh, say that you don't have the privilege to buy a new memory card and you just want to use your memory card to install Mac boot. This is where the DVD, uh, the DVD boot uh, comes into play. We are going to use a free DVD boot to be able to install some exploit on our PS2 memory card. On this process, we are going to need a new DVD-R, so an empty one, where we are going to burn the DVD boot. And uh, we are also going to need a USB thumb drive where we are going to install or save the files for Mac boot. And of course, the memory card to install the Mac boot. Let us now go ahead and download the ISO for our DVD boot. On the link, we are going to download this. This will work on all PS2 Slim model. And make sure to remember where to download the file. In our case, we are going to choose documents in the folder dump. And once we have downloaded the ISO, we are going to use image burn to uh, burn the uh, ISO. If you don't have this yet, we are also going to leave the link on the description. And once you have installed the application, just use this and click here to choose the ISO that we have just downloaded. On our case, we have a choose documents in the folder dump. And once we have the file ready, just also make sure that we choose the lowest uh, supported speed to make sure we have uh, the best um, quality of the DVD. Then let us just wait for the burn to complete. And now for the Mac boot, uh, just open the link. And uh, here we are going to see two versions of Mac boot. We'll just go ahead and download the latest version. And always uh, remember where to save the downloaded file. This time I will just save the file on the desktop. And uh, I will just also uh, extract the file on the same folder. Once we have all these files, uh, we are now going to transfer them on our USB thumb drive. Just make sure that our USB is formatted to FAT32. If not yet, then uh, just right click on the thumb drive, then uh, click on format, then choose FAT32. By the way, this uh, will only work on... Uh, uh, devices under 32 gig. If it's uh, above 32 gig, then you will have uh, to use other applications to format them to FAT32. By the way, we need uh, a format of FAT32 for our PS2 to recognize our USB thumb drive. Then just transfer everything to make sure that we are not going to miss anything. And in my case, since I have already in my uh, USB thumb drive, then I will just skip all. And once everything has been prepared, uh, we'll now go to our PS2 and insert the DVD. And uh, you will see here that the DVD or our PS2 is uh, recognizing the DVD as a DVD video. 
Then let's just uh, click on the CD or on the DVD and wait for the U launcher to load. And from here, we can now browse our USB. Just click on the file browser and the choose mask. Just click on OK. In our case, we are going to load the free MacBook installer. And it will take us here on, the, uh, on this menu. Then here, we'll have a lot of options for our PS2. We can either um, install uh, the normal installation or have the multi-install. Having the multi-install, uh, the MacBook will work on all uh, PS2 model, except the 90K model. And here we can also format our memory card. In our case, I will format my memory card. So just click on OK. Oh, wait, let's go back. Yes, uh, click on OK. And uh, yes. Then let us go back on the installation. And I will just uh, choose the normal installation. And let us wait for the whole installation to complete. Once the installation has been completed, we can now exit back to the browser of our PS2. And uh, here we can now see the new browser with the MacBook installed on our PS2. If we go to the launch.elf, it will take us uh, where we can configure our launcher. And here we can find all the, uh, uh, the application in the boot folder. We can configure our launcher so that we don't have to go back to the boot folder in case we want to use an application. We can organize this uh, however we want. Now let us reset our PS2 and we should see the logo of the MacBook to know that the MacBook is uh, working properly. If you don't see any logo there, then that means that the memory card is not properly inserted. Now let us go to the browser and here we can see if the PS2 is recognizing the memory card. All you have to do is make sure that it is properly inserted. Back here on the browser, we can uh, load or we can choose uh, an application using the launch.elf. But if you want to load a specific uh, application here on the browser itself, uh, we can configure that using the free MacBook configurator. Just press X or circle for OK and we can go to the OS, the SYS options. And here we can add an application. Just choose an, uh, an empty slot. And here we can uh, choose a name depending on whatever name you choose so uh, we're just going to use uh, the the standard name OPL and I uh, just click on OK and here on the path we are going to choose the application we want to add so let us just add OPL then um, click on return and by the way you can still add more items on the browser it's a uh, it's it's totally up to you, but we'll just add OPL for now. And uh, we are going to save this uh, configuration to make sure that everything has uh, been set. And we can choose MC0 for slot 1 or MC1 for slot 2. But uh, since we're going to save this on the first memory card, then we are going to choose MC0. Then let us just reset our PS2. And here we can now see the application that we have just added. So this is the OPL. Then we can uh, go ahead and uh, choose OPL here from the browser. You don't have uh, to go to the launcher first to choose an application. So here we have our OPL. This is the best application to use if you want to load the PS1 and PS or PS2 games uh, using the USB. That is how we can use a DVD boot to install MacBook on our PS2. But uh, if uh, our PS2 have a busted DVD ROM, then unfortunately, the only way we can use a MacBook uh, on our PS2, or the only way we can install MacBook on our PS2, is by using another memory card that already has a MacBook in it. Or just have uh, someone install MacBook on your PS2. But uh, if you prefer, just, uh, or if you can uh, afford, to buy another PS2 or another memory card that already has a MacBook. Just to make sure that your PS2 supports MacBook. And 
to make sure your PS2 supports MacBoot, always uh, check on the bottom of your PS2 and make sure that the model uh, starts with the 7 or anything uh, below 7. If it starts with 9, it's included with the model that uh, already uh, blocked the exploit of MacBoot. Uh, for this uh, firmware or for this uh, model of uh, PS2, we can uh, use a fun tool and uh, it will uh, be on our next video. The difference uh, between uh, Fantuna and the uh, MacBook is that uh, Fantuna works uh, on all models, but uh, it uh, has some extra steps uh, to use Fantuna, unlike MacBook. If you have installed everything correctly, and once you boot your PS2, it will, do, uh, it will automatically load your MacBook. But for Fantuna, you will do or you will have to do some extra steps uh, for you to be able to load uh, your exploit. But we'll have that on our next video, so be sure to subscribe and uh, hopefully we can see you in the next video. Bye-bye.